If you're sneezy and congested, with itchy, watery eyes, something you're sleeping with could be responsible. We're talking about dust mites. While they're too tiny to see, they can cause some big problems. We'll move over bed bugs. Dust mites can colonize mattresses and pillows. And unlike bed bugs, mites can lead to allergies, even trigger asthma. David Highfield is here with what he found in some local homes. David. Yeah, Ken and Christine, some very brave people allowed me into their homes, into their bedrooms, no less, to test for dust mites. Now, the EPA says that we all have them on some level. The average bed is said to have two million. Sounds pretty gross, but mites really aren't an issue unless you're allergic. Itchy eyes, your nose is running. <laughs> it was just miserable. It was an agonizing mystery for Jennifer Fitch from Penn Hills until she was finally tested and learned she was allergic to dust mites. I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> that this is what's like causing my issues and stuff. And like all these years I've thought, okay, what's wrong with me? Dust mites live in carpets, mattresses, pillows. They're too small to see with the naked eye, but here's what they look like under a microscope. They're spider-like creatures that feed on the dead skin cells we all shed. The older you're bedding, the more you're likely to have. And it's not the mites people are allergic to, but they're droppings. My expectation is we're not going to find significant dust mites here. I went to Rob Montgomery's house in McCandless, as well as two other homes in our area, armed with at-home dust mite test kits, which I bought online. <gasps> Using a special collection device on the end of a vacuum, we sampled mattresses, pillows, comforters, carpeting by baseboards and under beds, numerous spots in each home. I want to show you something. As part of the test kit, they give you this, and it has three stripes on it. The first one shows the lowest level of dust mite allergen. Then there's a medium stripe, and then the darkest stripe shows the highest level. After you take all the necessary steps, two, three, four. You see which stripe matches your test results, but it doesn't work quite that fast. It takes 10 minutes, so we'll get back to this. Dust mites are really a big deal. They are one of the most common allergens that we're facing. And Dr. Andre Petra from UPMC's Allergy Immunology Clinic says the mites can make patients miserable. Many times they'll lose their sense of smell from severe stuffy nose. <coughs> but he says there are steps people can take to make things better. The mites like humidity, so he tells people who are allergic to them not to use humidifiers. He says hardwood floors, not carpeting, are the best bed in the bedroom. Also, no stuffed animals. He says to wash sheets in hot water weekly. And to get covers for your pillows and your mattress that zip closed. Finally, you can also do what Jennifer Fitch chose, a series of shots, which she says has made a huge difference. And ever since they've been doing them, it's been like a whole new life. Now it's time for our test results. We took six samples in all, two from each home. Despite one sample full of dust and one with a lot of dog fur, most of our samples showed no detectable dust mite allergen at all. But two others did show a light pink stripe, most closely matching the lowest level of allergen. But still, at that amount, no action is needed. And as for Rob Montgomery's house, Dust mites are not a problem. And now that the results come back that we don't have dust mites, it's, uh, it's very reassuring. Well, if you're allergic, using a vacuum cleaner that has a HEPA filter may also help. And one study found putting stuffed animals in the freezer before washing them can cut down on dust mites as well. But experts say there's really no reason to be concerned about this unless you're actually having allergy issues. And then you may want to look into this. And in fact, I brought some of these so you could get an idea of just how small they are and what they look like in person yeah. here. Yeah, so yeah. where do you buy yeah. these things? Where are we going? We got them online. We got them from a company that came recommended to us. Uh, it comes in a, a pack of two for $30, and we have a link to it at kdka.com for anyone who wants to get those. All right, got to know to find out. Absolutely. Thanks, David. Thank sure thing. you.